I got these 4000 series CMOS Logic integrated circuit assortment uh, kit here today and I was going through the data sheet for a few of these but I came to the uh, 4046, 4046 however you say it I'm new to using these integrated circuits and uh, there are some interesting things about this one so first off it has a phased lock loop and a voltage controlled oscillator so I need to learn more about those hopefully make videos uh, later on but in addition to that it has a Zener diode within it so I have a Zener diode here at the top of the data sheet it says it's a 5.2 volt Zener diode so I grabbed this 5.1 volt Zener diode according to the person that wrote it on here so it's kind of hard to read the writing but 5V1 so 5V is in the decimal point spot because you would not see a dot there and then a 1 and so in any case bench power supply is set to 10 volts right now I have one kilo ohm resistors to each of these Zener diodes and you can see that uh, this one it's 5.1 actually can't see that because we didn't have the meter in view so sorry about that so we got uh, 5.1 basically there just a tad below and I don't like not being able to see the V on camera when I take those measurements you should be always be able to see the units and we have 6.135 uh, there which is very interesting for a few reasons which I will get to so I went down in the data sheet to look at the uh, Zener voltage that we should expect so at the top it just says in summary 5.2 volt Zener at the bottom it has the Zener diode voltage which is a V sub Z there's a little Z after the V to indicate uh, uh, Zener voltage so if you look in the data sheet uh, it has it written out and it and it says it could be a minimum of 4.45 typically 5.5 or a maximum of 6.15 and there you can see we have the 6.15 right there uh, just a tad bit below that so we are at the maximum but that's the maximum you should be expecting so that means there's really nothing wrong with it so now it said that though at 50 micro amps of current so I'm gonna yank this resistor out and take a 100,000 ohm resistor because we got basically a 5 volt Zener well apparently looks like it's more like six and ten volts at the rail so with about five volts this is all just quick estimations across a uh, 100,000 ohm resistor you should expect about 50 milliamps of current first let's take the uh, voltage reading so let's see what we get for the voltage there and you can see it went down just a speck you know it's still six volts pretty much let's yank uh, that resistor go to this one so this was five five point uh, I think yeah almost spot on 5.1 with a one kilo ohm resistor with a lower current you can see that one really plunged so I thought maybe that's that would plunge that one too that with the uh, low current because if you attach a load to that that's going to reduce the current to the Zener down and we will take the uh, current measurement now so we put that there we are going to be in the micro amp range I don't do that very often micro amp mu all of my measurements other than high current for this meter the red probe stays there so that's nice for this now we have to complete the circuit that's why I stuck that up there and we'll make sure that probe is nicely touching just the uh, 15 pin and there you can see it's just a little bit below 50 uh, micro amps of current but we had higher current the voltage was holding about steady there so so uh, yeah luckily according to the data sheet nothing's really wrong it's at the high end of the Zener uh, voltage for whatever reason I only have one of these so that kit I showed you each one of the integrated circuits is a different integrated circuit but I thought that was pretty cool this really has like three things in it one of it is is the uh, Zener diode in it if you need to uh, set a voltage and unfortunately it's not the uh, 5.2 volts that it says at the top so I had to investigate look into that a little more so 
Yeah, data sheets are your best friends. If anything's confusing, make sure you go through those, learn how to read them, and whatnot. So, I am just going to end the video on that note. I learned a lot just uh, from this little bit of uh, experimenting. This is the first integrated circuit I looked into in a little bit of detail. So I looked at what these other ones were. And uh, and this one was the most interesting because I saw that Zener uh, diode. There's just a Zener diode made up between two pins right there. So thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.